It's very peaceful, lovely, quiet little village. Still going down. Yeah, no barriers at all, look. Nothing. So that's it, you get it wrong and that's it, you're done. Who's that? Generator at the side of the road. And stuff. How queer! I can't hear anything, my hearing's, hearing is completely gone. Feels a bit warmer down here. If I say down, I don't know how much down we've done. There is a thing on here to tell you how high you are. Can't remember how you do it. Uh, how do you do it? Is it like... No. Compass. Oh no, that's not it. Oh, I don't know where it is. Front tyre. Maybe you're not the best idea to be messing about with this. I'm sure there's an altimeter on it. I don't know. How do I get it back? Uh, I think I'll leave that alone. There is one, I'm sure there is. Wow. 
Wow, what a mad road. Awesome road. Well, <coughs> sorry. Um, the Gross Lochner, I think it was called, cost 28 euros. And, and it was good, I liked, I did like that, and I got a sticker. Um, but this is, uh, would, I, would I say it's better? I don't know if it's uh, possibly better. It's longer, it goes on longer. Yeah. I think this is better. The Stelvio Pass. Yeah, you need to do it. If you're thinking about where to go, what to do on your adventures. Have a look where that is. Google that, Stelvio Pass. I mean, check this out. It's just going on and on and on. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to show you guys in the video because the video will be just hours and hours I, uh, you know I, I got to edit it obviously but I'd be interested to see this so I'm, I'm guessing some of you will be interested to see it but probably not all of it it's hard to know what to leave in these videos and what to edit out or what to speed up and do you know what I mean I'm not sure how many episodes is going to be in this series but I think it's going to be quite quite a biggie quite a large one just goes on and on wow God, it just goes on and on and on. Yeah, I can't help thinking we sort of almost got the timings a little bit wrong on this. Possibly. It would have been nice. I mean, it's half seven at night. Mind you, it's daylight, so I guess that's good enough, but I can help think it would have been better to do it, you know, in the middle of the day. But hey-ho, that's how it goes. I mean, half seven at night, we haven't had anything to eat. I know I keep saying that. But I'm hungry. I've had some biscuits. Some biscuits. Wow, I had no idea it was going to take so long to do this. No, no Denali sound bombs allowed in this town. Well, it looks like that's the end of that. Okay, we're in, we're sorted, campsite. Oh wow, this is all right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I can't see a space anywhere. <laughs> Down there I guess.
We're now going for food. Because the there's not actually a restaurant here, all there is in its shirt, I'm not sure. There's like a bar. But we want to slip the nose bag on, obviously. So we're off to uh, find a restaurant. That's cool. Behold, restaurant. I bet they're thinking, Jesus, I'll be glad when he shuts that off. It's very peaceful, lovely quiet little village very nice restaurant that lovely right back to the campsite we're going straight to bed beautiful tranquil campsite isn't it Wookie? Yeah, beautiful serene yeah really peaceful the tingling of the swiss cowbells cowbells tingling away in the background and it's the river the river over there gently run and then there's that noise again no. noise pollution can you hear it you're not, you're not even allowed to blow your horn here no you're not i can definitely hear something yeah i can definitely here, some kind of noise pollution. He doesn't belong here. What's this? Oh dear, listen to that. Oh. Have you had a shower? Yeah. Yeah, you've, you've been all, you two are all I've over it, haven't you, this morning? I've had an interview. You've had an interview? I've had a phone interview this morning, isn't it? Oh, right. That's Have good. you? Yeah. I give you a job, Alex. Yeah, it's yeah, on they, camera, don't, they don't make the No, no, it's definitely on right. camera. <laughs> <laughs> right, at the end of the interview, yeah. any questions? Can you replace these? Yeah. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> it's Clark's boots. Oh yeah. 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 They are ruined. You wanna you wanna give them back? You say, would you like these back for research purposes? Yeah. Oh yeah. So this is what happens to them after three months of touring yeah, around Europe. What they're meant for them a bit than is walking oh, around how long have you had tarmac them? in six and out of shops. Six years? Six years? Six years? Yeah. You they, can't have a pair of shoes for six years. I've had mine for nearly ten. Shut up. <laughs> they were from, I brought them for Max when he passed out in the... Um, in when he passed out? Yeah, what, was he drinking did he drink too much? much? <laughs> yeah. When <laughs> he tell his army passed oh. out. <laughs> I had them for Max when he passed out. So your brother... Yeah. Collapsed on the floor, and your first thought was, oh, "I'll have his no boots." boots. Yeah, yeah. Well, hang on. So he he got them. You knew? No, I got them new for his. Um, so pass out. Like oh, ah, right. You got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, I'm so he wore them for five minutes. No, I no, no. He bought them for yeah, that event. For a right. event. Yeah. 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 So you've had them for six years. Same I don't time, think I've had. The same time Max has been in the army. I don't think I've had any shoes that. Oh, I might have done. I don't know. I bet. I, yeah. You buy good boots and they do last for years. Did you see the, um, did you see the... Okay. So I'm going to do a tent review. Oh, have you, you've stopped watching Cobra Kai now, have you? He's watching, he's sat there watching Cobra Kai. Okay, so what we have here, we have the Lone Rider Moto Tent, version 2. Don't we forget have the, the two. Nord Cap something. What's this one, Wookie? Avesta. Where does it say? Oh, hang on, I can see where it says. Bear with. Bear with. Okay, we've got the Nord Cap. Oh, it just says adventure equipment. 
that's the company, the model you see on their website is Avesta. Okay, so that's they the do Nord three Cap different Avesta, tents. The Lone Rider Moto Tent version two, and then wait for it, guys. Wait for, wait it. for it. Brace yourself. Brace yourselves. Here we have the wingman of the road. Dun dun dun. Yes. Right. Now then, where do I start? The Lone Rider Moto Tent could be improved. The I'll show you. I think the the outer sheet should go more to the floor, to be honest. These flaps that protect, that cover the, the zips, proper pain. Because every time you're doing the zip up and down, you, you seem to get this flap caught in it. And it's a real, that's crap. Um, and the way that the ground sheet underneath the bedroom attaches uh, basically to these pegs. It, the, they just sort of wrap round. That's a bit naff. And also that ground sheet needs to be bigger. Other than that, I like it. This tent, the Nord Cap, whatever it was called. A Vesta. Is a blatant copy. I think we're agreed on that, haven't we, Wookie? Yes. It is a copy. They've taken they um, they bought one of those. They've basically bought one of these, we I reckon. Think. Set it up, had a few bods with clipboards and cameras go around it and they've basically copied it. Um, which is, you know, it, it's a good tent. Different cut, they do it in green and grey. Yeah, now let's talk about the money for a minute. That was, when I bought it, I'm sure it was close to 500 quid. Maybe 450, 470, something like that. I'm sure it was nearly 500 quid. Now I think they are 450 or that might be euros, I can't remember, but you can have a look yourself. Now this, how much was this, Wookie? At the time, because I paid in euros, it converted to 171 pounds. Yeah, so... They're 199 euros. So there you go, 450, 175 quid. Is that what you just said? Yes, 71, but 171. yes, okay, it's so near as damn it. 175 quid, 450 quid. So, okay, so the difference is, I think it's fair to say it's not quite as good quality, is it? That, yeah, the price difference is shown up in the quality of the materials. But... The is design that, is virtually the same. Is that worth so much more money than this? It's two of those. Well, here's the thing. They've both got the crap guide ropes. You can't see them. So well, yeah. all, all of these tents should all... have high-vis guide ropes. I don't know if that costs more money. I and know. I've noticed every tent, and I've had many tents, they cut corners here. This yeah, is the where guide they... guide ropes and the, and the things to adjust it. Um, so I'm taking all of that off of mine. This, and I'm this and the little... pegs is where a tent manufacturers save a, a pound here in there. Yeah, I'm going to put these little like L-shaped aluminium things on mine. Robins. Anyway, these poles are fiberglass and the weight of these poles compared to the weight of the poles on my Lone Rider tent, that is quite a significant difference. And that's where the money is. Yeah. Aluminium also, versus fiberglass. Where you put the poles through on mine this bit that you slide the poles in that bit goes Much right away to down. the bottom on both sides whereas on this tent it doesn't and you have to hook hook these plastic hooks in i don't know if that's a bad thing or not i, I don't think it really matters it's easier to slide the poles through Is but it? these clips were they're getting better a bit hard to get on when it was they? brand new see yeah um, there has been a, oh yeah, this area is bigger, this area, the garage, we'll yeah. call it the garage, that's bigger. It's taller. It's taller. Um, the bedroom is maybe not wider, but it is taller because it doesn't, it doesn't slope down towards. You can see it on the, if you look at the yeah, two. Yeah, if you look at mine, you the can last... see how it slopes down at the bedroom. The rear the pole back. is taller. 
this one doesn't so well it does but not anywhere near as much i don't really see is the door of the door set up the that. same um pretty much is yours yeah i think that's pretty much the same right we're now going to do uh, a rating out of 10 for um what, how do you reckon we should do it practicality cost or value for money and uh, what quality, 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 practicality, and value, value for money. money. We'll do it like that, shall we? Okay, okay. So, Alex, uh, value for money, you'll have to shout a little bit because the mic's right. over here. For the uh, quality of tent, I would say it's um, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> what's going on? Uh, I would say it's a good. A good 10 for the quality of the material. Okay. Yes, I agree. Uh, practicality. I don't understand why there's two helmet hooks for a single man tent. Yes. Isn't that for in case you want to, depends which end you want to sleep? I oh, I've got one more at the end. Don't, Any, thumb, the, don't thumb the mic. Anything you change. Yeah, okay. For what, it, now? At or? the end. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on. So, practicality wise, if it's raining, you've got nowhere to put any of your stuff. You've got to wrap it up in this this yeah i'm like and that's not not really ideal and if you're going if and when you're sleeping where am i going to put my bag yeah so i gotta just leave it out in the open to possibly get stolen in yeah, the night exactly and then i've just got what i'm living in yeah what i'm wearing so practicality wise i'd say it's a free really wow. oh oh out get some. oh <laughs> have some of that wingman of the road wingman are you listening Value of money. Yeah, value for money. Because uh, how much was it? We haven't said. Uh, this cost me four fifty, I think. Four fifty, was it? Yeah, this is when it. This is when the, This is the version two. Okay. So this is. This is when it first came out. I think prices have changed since then. Okay. But when I. Is it really it, heavy? I wouldn't. When it's on my bike, I don't notice it. I because I, I'd like you. Kane's two man one up, and that was really heavy. I'd like you to. to what, let's stick yeah. to right. So, so afterwards. And anything you would change. Anything I would change. I would change. Um, so I'd have the ground sheet. So it would be up like that. So then it would be a lot easier when the bike's next to it. So then nothing can be seen of my stuff. Okay. I'd have. Oh, uh, like to a, come up. Yeah, to come up so I could attach and it to my bike. Clip and there, there and onto your bike. Yeah, I'd have one of these so I could put my luggage in it. What, so going right to the ground, you mean? Yeah, so Much I closer to the ground. Go down, maybe a zip in the middle so I could put some stuff in there instead of having two random helmet hooks. Right. Yeah. That's upset you, hasn't it? It's because unusually I high. I don't understand. I don't understand why they thought, oh, let's put two in there. Right. And okay. this is unusually high, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so anything else you'd change? Um, well, to, if you're keeping it the same height, there's not much really more they can do, is there? No, okay. So is that it yeah. for the wingman of the road? Oh, We've I'd, I'd have a pocket inside for my phone and stuff to go in. Oh, Up right, here, yeah. by your head? Yeah. yeah. Yes. It's, it's lacking so area. Fumbling around in the dark. Right, okay. Yeah. But apart from that, I mean, sometimes so it's nice to fumble around in the dark. Yeah. But not right. for your phone. Okay, so... Dropping it down and putting it, taking it, put, rolling it up and stuff doesn't take too long. I didn't know yeah. that it would stand up without a bike next yeah, to it. Yeah, right, Wookie, let's move on to yours. Let, let's go over to yours, because otherwise the video is going to be like 19 minutes long. We need to, we need to try and stick to the prologue here. Right, so, value for money? Eight. Eight? Yes. Okay, um, because you'd rather it was a bit... I'd rather better. it had actually cost a little bit more. Yeah, okay. Uh, practicality? That's right up there, it's a nine. A nine? Okay. Especially if, if it was bad weather, you could you could be in bed or you could sit there next to your bike. Beating off. Well, if that's what you like to do. I was thinking reading a magazine myself. I'll edit that bit out. We won't use it. <laughs> um, oh, what was the other one? Quality. Quality, yeah. That's a bit down. That's a little bit poor. That's where they should have made it cost a bit more. I'm going to go six. The thing is, though, they're trying to 
give people what they want, aren't they? And there's a lot of cheapskates. Can yes. I, say that? I can say that, can I? Yeah, I can say that. I don't um, think, I think it's trying, trying to, to be appeal. an Instagram tent. It isn't, because nobody knows no, about it. I think they're trying to give people what they want and give people an affordable tent. But, yeah, like you say, maybe they should have gone a little bit higher with the money. Yeah. And, there is one thing. Now, at that price, 170 I don't mind... I'm going to make some alterations to it to suit me. Yeah, okay. And what was the other thing? Um, things you'd change. This might go on. Things I would edit. change. It doesn't need the windows. Doesn't need the windows, right? These clips are, are too small. This is tiny things. Yeah, they're not great. Um, I want, and I'm going to do it myself, clip-on guidelines. Because when you roll it up and unroll it, you've just got a tangled That's mess. That's not a bad idea, is it? And several times now, I've ended up putting it, putting it up with this trapped right I've there. I've done that myself. That is a really good idea. So but when I, I get home, I'm going to have I like that the idea. tiny carabiners. Yeah, like carabiner. And have a bag of, of lines rolled up. I, I really like the idea, but I don't think it's fair to blame the tent manufacturers no. that they don't have that. That's and I'm an going to go for yourself, I'm going to go for white white paracord. Just buy a roll of white paracord. Right, okay, so I've never tripped over your paracord. Yeah, you've yeah. never tripped never. over yeah. any of it. So anything else you change? Is that it? No, not really. Right. Okay. So that's that then. Uh, on your tent and my tent, I would actually have them the same height all the way through with the same poles. Would you? Because it would be quick and easy to put up because you get a pole and put it I'm through gonna, a I'm pocket. I'm going to go over to mine now and then and wrap this up. And if you look... It's not a four hour video on tent review. Uh, what would I... Okay, value for doesn't money. Doesn't need to be that tall. Did we start with value for money? Yeah, value, yes. value for money. As much as I am a lone rider whore, I do love all lone rider products and I've got loads of them. Um, I, I just love the brand. Please sponsor him because yeah, he loves you. I do love Lone Rider. However, I'm going to be honest, like I always am. The version 3 would be interesting. Um, value for money, I think it's a bit expensive. I know it's not really fair to compare this value for money wise with that, but look at the difference, 175 quid nearly uh, let's say 450 that's a massive difference is it worth that much more the poles are all yeah you can get two of, two of those um, the whole tent packed up doesn't weigh a lot at all um so value for money i think i'm going to go i think i'm going to go six out of ten because i think it's a bit too expensive um I'll go 6.5, there you are. 6.5. 6.5. Um, practicality, I'm going to go 9. Um, same as me, because it's virtually yeah, the same I'm tent. I'm going to go 9. Um, things I change, I think, uh, number one, the ground sheet underneath the bedroom needs to be bigger, and it needs to attach a lot easier because how it attaches is nonsense. You just, unless I'm doing it wrong, obviously, just wrapping the, the hooks it's around the, the pegs and, and hooking them back on the, the elastic, that's nonsense. Um, what else would I change? I'd have that vent in the front, like what Wookiees has got, the Nord cap. That's a really good idea. Um, that's mesh under there. I think I'd have this outer, does your outer go to the floor? A bit Closer. Further. I think I'd have that outer going a little bit closer to the floor. I'm sure there's a reason that I'm too much of a numpty to understand why. It's for ventilation, but you don't need that much. It could, yeah, it I mean, could be just off the ground, Scotland, couldn't it? When I was in Scotland, the wind was coming under there so bad, I thought the tent was going to take off. Um, so that I'd change. An inch longer. Uh, yeah, the guide ropes, that's, that Ooh. all needs changing. Um, Definitely. Other than that... I don't think I'd change anything else. I don't think. Ah, I'll tell you what I'd change. A couple of pegs in the front of the bedroom. And I know that sounds strange, but some nights when you're unzipping it, you're, you're unzipping it, ah. and the whole 
the whole bedroom is lifting around and you've got to hold the bottom while you undo the zip. If it was pegged in with just a couple of pegs, I, I know you'd have to be a bit careful where the pegs go because you might step on them or whatever, but a you, couple of pegs just to hold the front of the bedroom. You could use ground sheet pegs. Securely to the floor. That might just be me, but I think... That's that something I'm going to adapt to mine. Um, I'm going to glue think, a tab of material. It. So all in all, um, I think that's it. I don't think I'd change anything else on this. I said about the guide ropes. Yeah, that's it. Odd colours. I don't understand the colours. I, I don't mind the colours. So yeah, there you go. There's our tent review in Switzerland.